Hello, welcome to Mr C's Biology. Today we're talking about the carbon cycle. So, the carbon cycle is another one of the cycles that we need to know and it involves how carbon moves through different organisms in the world. If we start with humans or animals, uh, we'll know that we breathe out a lot of carbon dioxide and so carbon dioxide ends up in the air from our own respiration and then ends up as carbon dioxide in, uh, in the air. That carbon dioxide uh, it can come out of the air through photosynthesis that plants do. And so we can draw our little arrow there as well. But you might remember that plants also do respiration at night. So when they don't have light to be able to do photosynthesis, they do respiration and so they release a little bit of carbon dioxide back in as well. Now these plants, once they're photosynthesized, they store this carbon as sugars, as um, starches, and they're the sorts of things that we and other animals eat. So when we feed on plants, the carbon in those different areas goes into our body as well, which we can use in respiration. Now what we don't use, um, we sometimes use for growth and for other things, and, and eventually when we die, then we're going to take the carbon with us to the ground. Now that carbon is also going to come from plants when they die, and so there's going to be quite a lot of carbon in the ground from dead organisms. What happens to it then? Well, it turns into fossil fuels over millions of years. Things like oil and coal, all that is is combined carbon from dead organisms that's been compressed over millions of years. Now those fossil fuels, what we can do to them um, to get that carbon out, get that energy out, is that we can burn them. And so this is the process of combustion. Now that might be just you burning a log on a fire, um, or it might be you burning um, some oil or some gas um, or burning oil and gas in large stations to produce electricity for us. When we do combustion, it turns it back into carbon dioxide and that is released in the process of combustion. One other thing that can happen is that decomposers that are breaking us down into fossil fuels uh, also carry out respiration. Uh, and so decay and decomposition and also release some carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. So that is our summary of the carbon cycle. Hope that all makes sense. If you've got any questions, then put them in the comments below and I'll see you next time.